Hello everybody and welcome once again to New Method Craft Repressurize to Minecraft 115. Today, as I was up, we're going to be doing, well, if I can get a nice position so you can see it. So I would like to make the Thermo Pneumatic Processing Plant, or maybe a couple of those actually, uh, a liquid compressors, a heat frame, some molten plastic and getting around to making plastic. So let's get started. So I think I've got everything with me today. So I'll Got a little, but I've got a little um, reinforced chest here, so we can open this up. Um, so what we'd like to start with is the thermopneumatic processing plant. So let's have a quick look at that. If I can spell that, which is having difficulty with it. So this one. And for that, we need some reinforced slabs, which are basically fairly straightforward. Small fluid tanks, pressure tube, and some more reinforced slabs. So I've got in here 18 reinforced slabs. I th I think I should have 18 reinforced slabs in here, which I'm having difficulty seeing. I've got eight small tanks, we're going to use six. I haven't. All right, I'm back in a second with some reinforced slabs. Well, I thought I'd made them, but obviously I haven't. So let's go make some reinforced slabs, because they're dead easy. We need 18, so we'll take these reinforced stone I've got here. I think that's enough for what we need. So we need to need one off that, and that'll give us three sets, which is exactly what we need. And I'm not sure what we need if we need more than that. So what else do we need for this? We also need some pressure tubes. We need pressure tubes for almost everything we make, so that's good. And uh, two small tanks, wasn't it? I've got those. So let's make these up now. I want to make three. I want to make three because one's for plastic, one's for uh, lubricant, and one is for uh, upgrade matrices, which you should also be doing. I'm not sure what's three times fast. Oh yes, okay, try saying that three times. Yes, pneumatograph Thermo pneumatic processing plant, I think is what he's talking about. <laughs> it is a mouthful. So we also need some um, heat sinks, and I would also like to make some thermal heat pipe. Now I've got, so yes, I've got vortex tubes. So two of the machines need heating up, and one doesn't. So let's get and make the, the heat thermal plugging. Thermal plugging here. The use of that, you can make these heat pipes. I, want, I just need three blocks of, um, actually it's quite a lot in the way, isn't it? So we'll put three blocks of those, and I don't need very much of this stuff. Let's try the uses of that again. We click it into place, so we get six of these heat pipes. So let's press shift for info. So these are basically insulated compressed iron. So they heat, so they transfer the heat without losing any to adjacent air or fluid blocks. So the more, um, compact alternative to using compressed iron blocks. That was what we used to use in um, 114 and before. And can, this block can be camouflaged with a camouflage applicator, so it's quite a useful block. So what I'm going to use that for is to heat up some of these using the vortex tubes. And we'll do it as a, as a demonstration to start with. So what else do we need in here? I would also like to make two um, fluid compressors. They're easy enough to make as well. So we'd like to make these liquid compressors, they're called. Right, okay. So these are basically souped up versions of the um, air compressor. So let's get those. I think I've got everything we need for that. What do we need? We needed leather, um, compressors, and I have forgotten what else we needed for that one. Probably iron of some compressed iron. Let's have a look. Another, oh, small tanks, yes, we got those already. So we can make two of these, because I made eight small tanks to start with. So we need three for these two, um, I think that's right. For these three, yes, we need a six for these three, and some more for those, just one each of those, that's good. So it's better than coal, and definitely is. Um, what else we'd like to make? Well, we'll leave that for the time being. What I forgot to know, we would put in the security modules and things that we build, especially the compressors. And I would actually like some fluid uh, safety tube modules anyway. And I think that's everything for now. We'll take these regu tube regulator modules because they're always useful to have in your hand anyway. Have I got any? I should also have some, and I'm not seeing them because I never can see them. Some levers. <laughs> I don't know why I can't see levers. I just. It, I haven't got any with me, I'll have to make some more in a minute. So what do we do with this? You can see this is working away because I, I finished off the oil um, from the other 
from the first place where we were doing refining. So, and I don't have a small tank with me there. Oh, here it is. Look, let's just pick up this small tank here, and then we can put this small tank into here, and then we get another small tank free, as it were. F oh, is it filled up? No, it's still got fluid in here. Fantastic. All right, put it back down again. I was hoping it would be completely empty and we'd have one free. We don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this setup in here. We're going to make a new setup. And what I'll probably do is go underground, but for the time being, I think we won't go underground. So I'm going to use two compressors together, these two, because we need more than one. Um, one's actually not enough. So let's put those two down like this. Let's make sure we've got the security upgrade in both those two machines and then we need to link them together with some pipe like this and then we can bring this pipe out and we need to do two things for these thermal let's put one of the thermal pneumatic processing plants down and have a look at what we can do with these so that's where would I like to put it I need to put down three so I might have to play with my spacings on this so if I put a heat sink, let's put it down hmm, here for, to start with and have a look at it. That will put down three, so I'll go over two blocks, I think. Three, I don't think that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry, let's just put down one and get it working first of all. So we, will, we have to heat this. So in order to heat this, we can use these uh, lagging like this these um, heat pipes so we can actually connect it like this I'm going to connect up two and I think I need to move this one I'm pretty sure it, it can be fairly close together I should also get some more heat uh, lagging as well because I haven't got enough oh yes I've got plenty so we can put those down like this And you see those those chain shapes so that they're actually connecting in now beside this we can put the thermal compressor uh, the vortex tube sorry sometimes i talk rubbish but it's, well, i've got two made but we probably only need one we can control it so we can run both processes at the same time and you see the direction to put that down so the red side always faces you so we can then connect this up in here like this and this will also connect this to this so one more piece of pipe down here will connect it I'm just having a think. I would like to put down here. I'm umming and ahhing a bit. I'm sorry, I don't mean to do that. But what I was thinking about is putting a regulated tube in here. If I put a regulated tube in here, it won't connect to this. So let's let's do that anyway, because we want to be able to switch this stuff off when, when it's not being used, so it doesn't waste fuel. The shift doesn't work. Okay, right, like that. Then we can put down another piece of pipe here. And that'll connect into the vortex tube and also at the same time into this um, thermonympathetic processing plant. That's what I wanted to do. We could put another piece of pipe down there and these two connect as well. So we, it can be reasonably compact. Uh, and then I'd put down here a lever to sort of turn this off and on to control the temperature. It's night time, I need to have a quick sleep. You'll see also here at the moment we're getting not too much light because I've, I've, I've upgraded the pack just for this episode because I'll be recording this episode so I'll have a quick sleep and see in a second right actually we also went and got a lever as well for that time let's put the lever down here so we can turn this stuff off and on so I probably would also put into here a um, pressure tube module to make sure just to be on the very safe side because these should release pressure when it gets high but just being sure that it doesn't go past to the machine will put one of those into the place here like that so now this is basically set up i need to move this one away put it back in it, this one's going to just need water it doesn't need any heat but it does also need pressure so I'll put it down here oops i'll try again like that and then we can take a piece of pipe in here as well we can put that across down here I probably will change this because I'd probably like the thing that uses most of the pressure is this thing. But also it needs a heat sink on the other end. So we'll put one of those into place here. Like that. 
So I think we're about ready. So all we need to do now is to power these up. Um, I'll put two levers down to start with and then we'll twiddle with the redstone like we've done it before. So I probably don't need to do that again. So we can set these active on. Now let's make these high signals. And set these to be redstone active on high. No, low. I want it on low signals. That's right. And then I'll have a look at the next one like this. And this one here it tells you the available fuels. So it tells you the type of fuel. So you can actually use molten plastic. Probably you don't want to do that. You can use lava. That's interesting. You can use oil, but that's a bit sort of expensive because it uses, it produces uh, 200 millibuckets, 200 milliliters of air for 200 millibuckets of fluid. And it's got a 0 0.025 times on it. So it's pretty poor. So the best one will probably be, I think it's LPG, but today we're going to use kerosene. Um, this I think is a consumption, oh yeah, that's the burn rate here like this. So 1.5 times, this is actually more than 1500. Yes, it's 1665. Um, but it's not as good as LPG, but LPG we don't have so much of at the moment. So that's what that's about. So now we're just going to get a couple of buckets. Have I got some buckets with me? I think I have actually. But I might have set those buckets down to being filled with water. Uh, yes, I've got two buckets here. But what I do need to do is to block off an area. In fact, I'll use this to start with and replace it with dirt later on. Because I want to make an infinite water supply. If I've got enough here. So we can do... I think it's just these two blocks we need actually. So we can push the others down back here, let's put them down. Like that. So that'll give us an infinite water supply with the water in it here like this. And the reason we need an infinite water supply is we need to, I can get out of this thing, so we need to power up, this, uh, one of the processes needs water, that's not pushing it in there, why not? Right, that works. So we need water in here. So the way to do that is use a gas lift. So the gas lift uh, we've used before with the thing is dead easy. I've got one made ready to do this. So let's go and get that one out of the chest. In fact, I should bring the chest nearer now, shouldn't I? So I've now got two buckets as well. If we take two buckets of kerosene out of here. So for the gas lift, we need a gas lift and we need some drill pipes. We probably need compressed air, but I don't think we need that for the time being. Is there anything else? Oh, 21. I did have the reinforced lab, but I knew I had. Sometimes things just, just I mean, they're blind or they just don't show up. One, especially when they're small and the numbers are hiding them. So, right, we've got two buckets of uh, kerosene, so let's just put these two buckets into these two things. So, when this starts up, the pressure will come out fairly quickly here. So at the moment this is turned off, so these will all warm up. Before they warm up I'd like to get some um, f materials into these machines. So what we're going to do, I've got it actually over here, so let's get these set up as well. I've got logistics frames and I've got an active provider frame. So I'm going to put the active provider frame on another chest. I think we will use, actually we'll use this one because it's got the bits in we need to do it anyway. So we can just put it down, say here. And then we can put the active provider frame on this one. We can use an ordinary provider frame for this enough to use active. I would have wanted to provide these things really, coal, charcoal, and the rest of it. I'd actually got a chest made up to do that. So maybe we'll do that as well. In fact, yeah, that's probably better, isn't it? Let's just remove this and do that. So. Let's put this this chest down here. Take out of here one chest. Put on the chest of provider frame and then take out of here what we need. So we need charcoal. And we can also use coal, redstone and some lapis. Like that. And then we can put those into here. And these are the things we want to provide. Of course we also want to provide fuel uh, to this as well. So we can do that. Uh, I mean fuel to the generators. We can do that as well. So, 
now we can take these three request the frames here and then put those onto these pneumatic thermoneumatic processing plants let's say that thermoneumatic processing plants thermoneumatic processing plants three times there you go right so now we can configure these so what we'd like to do in this one we'd like to get some water so i've got the gas lift it's actually here so we can put this against here like this and it should connect in because it's right beside this and you see these thermoneutrons all linking together like that we've got no pressure at the moment let's make let's turn one of these on so it should be as you can see it's smoking and it is producing pressure and as soon as this produces pressure this should start to work now it does have problems here but they aren't real problems so it's got no um, not enough pressure that's one problem that it does, is important but the other one no drill pipes you don't need them when the when the when the block is directly below the gas pipe like that so let's configure this up in here so let's take the configurator the logistics configurator and configure this one in so what we need in here is some lapis like that and we also need in here some water but we don't need to request water because it's going to be provided anyway and I just thought let's just make how many we're going to put in there. let's make four and then we come along here and we'll change the minimum order size we'll make the minimum order size two it's not much point in having the minimum so larger than the requirements so this should now 0.49 bar so it's actually going up but slowly so we'll turn this on the reason it's going up slowly because this will be heating up and as it heats up the temperature goes up and uses more power and these will also be getting it so what i'd like to do with this first one is to make sure we get some plastic into this so in order to make plastic we need lpg and the liquid and we also need coal or charcoal so let's put those in here okay <laughs> third time lucky right so we can use charcoal and we can also use do that again. Coal again. Oh, I'm having difficulty. Right. I'm still having difficulty. What's wrong with my keyboard today? Or me in this case. We'll do that one. Like that. So we've got these two here. So we can double this up. Um, I think it's 10 per bucket. Half that. Like that. And then they should get in some of that and you'll see it's already delivered into here some LPG we haven't specified how much but one bucket is fine so let's have a look at this so it's going to complain about this not being thermally lagged and it's night time again so I'll quickly lag it up um, here's the lagging so it needs it on the sides but in this case it doesn't need it on too many sides because this one's going to be going out the same for this one as well let's have a look at that now problems not enough heat fine oh actually it's dark, started to work already as you can see we've got our first bucket of plastic and this one over here i'm going to leave for now we'll do that later on and this one here has got some um lapis and some water so i'm going to have a quick sleep and i'll see you in a second well this is actually still not reaching pressure but this has got plenty of uh, this has got this is full now of molten plastic so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and make a heat sink, a heat frame. It's the one I'm looking for. It's actually in here, of course. Now a heat frame is what you can heat or cool blocks with. So in this particular case, I want heat frame, don't I? This one. So that is just one furnace with eight compressed iron around it so we've got the furnace i think here yes and we should have plenty of compressed iron so that's that should work no problem whatsoever so let's get that working or crafting i mean so we can then craft this now we can apply this onto another side of this for example so let's do that because then we can actually put it down here so what i want is another inventory so i need another chest let's get one out of here like this I've had to got both of them out, so that's no problem. Let's take them both out and put one down here. 
So I'm going to remove this heat frame, which will mean that this becomes inefficient. But for what we're trying to do today, that's not so important. And we put this chest down beside it, or any inventory that takes items, and then put this on. Now this should start to get cool. I'm not sure if it is going to work, or whether I have to be... What temperature is it telling me it's at? So it's cooling minus 36 degrees, but the temperature keeps going up. So that's not working very well at all. So the other place we'll put this, we'll remove this off one off again. Now I'll try it again, which one do I have to hit? Heat frame? No, let's just break the blocks. You'll notice that... Go. Right, good, that took a bit of breaking as a tub it. You'll notice that my poor old pickaxe is feeling a bit sad at the moment. I was doing quite a lot of work with it. How much pressure have we got in here now? 1.84 bar, nearly enough. What we can do is have a use this one. This is actually quite cold. Let's remove this. Bit worry about the lag a little bit because it's quite severe at the moment. Um, put down a chest like this, and then put the heat frame back on the chest. And this one should get cool quite quickly, as you can see. It's going nice and blue, and it's already at minus 85 degrees. Now there is a critical mass here, so we get to take our buckets in like this. I'm going to take the plastic out of it and then put it into here so when it's around about a minus 100 you'll get two pieces of plastic per bucket but if it goes too cold it it doesn't work efficiently either so, so I've got pushed around that must be about another drone see I'm getting two each time at the moment and that's what you do and so we've now got plastic let's take this out of here and get our achievement plastic fantastic there you go so by the time this has done this, we should also have enough, <laughs> not quite enough pressure in here yet. So I'm, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just rearrange this a little bit. Um, that was a, just a drone teleporting somewhere, and I'm not sure where or why. They do teleport a bit, as it happens. Anyway, so what I might do is I might remove one of these compressors here. Let's turn it off first of all because we probably don't need so many compressors to heat up that. Even though the pipes are connected, can we disconnect it? Maybe I'd use one to heat up and then the other one to come here. Let's see if we can break this one. Yes, we can stop it. So they're getting no pressure in here now. I've obviously got to take away this piece of pipe first, otherwise it's will lose pressure. We'll take this one out of here like that. And then we can put it on the other side here. So let's just put it down here and I probably have to be fairly quick because it's probably still working when this is on but the pressure is fine so all we need to do now is put down a piece of pipe here and something's leaking what's leaking <laughs> it says it's leaking oh I see I probably got this wrong let's just do that again it might need to come from the other side. I'll just put the pipe down like that. Yeah, that's working this time. Let's put this on it. Great. So that's now increasing the pressure. So we should get a reasonable amount of pressure reasonably quickly. Let's remove this. I'll put this on the front of this like this. I'll probably move everything around between episodes anyway. So at the moment it's on a it's on a low signal, so it should be on. And the pressure's increasing. Yes, so everything's blue here, so green. I mean, so everything's on operation. And this should work reasonably quickly. Next episode, I'd like to make lubricant. Lubricant we can actually use the third one of these for. The other reason, the other things we can do with the thermonumatic processing plants. So look at what we can do with this. Let's have a look at the uses of this one. So you can make plastic, we've done that already. So from kerosene we can make gasoline, and from gasoline we can make LPG. That's one set of recipes. We can also, from diesel and redstone, we can make lubricant, that's the one I want to do. And at the moment we're trying to get this one up, but it does need two bar. And then the final one of this is from diesel to kerosene. 
like that. But diesel's actually surprisingly valuable. That's how much are we doing now? We should get our first one. Ah, so the way to get the items out of it, I'll show you that too, because I haven't done that yet. We need a hopper, and we need an inventory to put the stuff into. Well, you can use a hopper as the inventory, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to go underneath here like this, and take out two of these blocks. I might have to take out three. You'll see that the water comes in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the chest down here like that. And over this side, I'll probably have to remove this one as well. Like that. And with a bit of luck, I'll be able to get this hopper into this gap. So it can just, if I press shift on here like that, I might be able to reach the inventory, the chest. Great, I am. So I can put the dirt back in here. Like that. And I obviously don't need to put the dirt back in here. So let's have a look. We should have some lapis in where's the lapis gone to? I don't think the drone has delivered this yet. Oh yeah, now it's done it. So right, okay, so we've now got these in and we've got them in already coming into this chest like that. And you can see this is working nicely, it's picking out it's usually taking this block over here and filling it up with water. But just to keep this happy, we'll just put in these uh, drill pipes anyway, and then that'll should change away to um green from time to time if i take it out it'll complain about no drill pipes so there you go um it'll never use the drill pipes of course so there we have our first plastic so between episodes now i'm obviously going to make some more plastic um sheets so that's um, all i'm going to be doing for the time being until i've got a better way of doing this is to do it like this now i might only get one from this oh no i got two good because it's getting very cold um um one of those ah oh, i'm not sure which drone teleported but it did <laughs> so that's it ah oh, yep six i'm just double checking i quite often get five uh, an odd number from time to time well that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it um between episodes now i'm going to be getting a lot more plastic ready for the next stuff uh, we want to do um and i also probably could even start to do now i'll leave the lubricant until we, until we're together again also behind me i'm going to where these animals are i'm going to build a farm and in that farm i'm going to put all of the um crops or the main crops that i would like to farm or use for this particular so basically iron gold diamonds emeralds you know the usual stuff lapis redstone coal wood wood anything that we really need for this so and that drone keeps didn't push me around that time which is good so that's what i'm going to be doing next time it's night time and i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>